Jingle Bells, Sugar Plums, and Oops. Forget Sugar Plum Fairies. The holiday season in some parts of the world harbors a much darker figure. Half goat, half demon beast. He isn't a Halloween or Lord of the Rings character, but a figure who has been lurking in the Alpine folklore of Central and Eastern Europe for centuries. His name is Krampus, the devilish companion of St. Nicholas, who delivers not presents, but fear. Who is Krampus? Krampus is believed to have originated in Germany, and his name derives from the German word Krampen, which means claw. Originating from pre-Christian pagan beliefs, Krampus is a pagan winter spirit who was transformed into a devilish figure to blend with Christian beliefs. Interestingly, pagan customs thus found their way into Christianity. There is also a legend that traces his lineage to Norse mythology, calling him the son of Hel, the goddess of the underworld. Whatever his origin, Krampus is deeply rooted in tradition, a reminder that the holiday season isn't just about cheer. He first arrives together with St. Nicholas on the evening of December the 5th. For many, as you'll hear soon, this evening is called Krampusnacht, or in English, Krampus Night. While St. Nicholas rewards good children by leaving presents, Krampus beats those who are naughty with branches and sticks. In folklore tradition, he is also feared to kidnap children who have misbehaved. This stark difference between the two figures highlights a unique aspect of European folklore, where both benevolence and discipline are emphasized during the festive season. To see Krampus in action, I went to one of the Krampus Lauf or Krampus Runs, that are organized in the Alpine and Central European countries. It was unlike anything I'd ever seen. In this Krampus Lauf, a runway, as you can see, was created. Crowds arriving, those that know, came prepared, like this little dog. Spectators stood alongside, waiting eagerly for the Krampuses to arrive. Costumed figures, half man, half beast, with horns like twisted branches and fangs dripping with fake drool, stormed in, going from one side of the runway to the other. Lashing with branches or rods, they attacked and frightened people along the way. Here, this Krampus jumped on me really frightening me, but we did make peace eventually with a selfie. Terror and shrieks accompany the whole event. The costumes are so real, masks are really amazing, that you really believe that they are here to punish and perhaps even kidnap you. When you go for the first time and you're not warned in advance, it's quite a shock. To understand Krampus and the Krampus Lauf, we have to look at it within a wider European context. In the UK, St. Nicholas is responsible for taking care of both good and bad children. Well, you know how the song goes, Santa Claus is coming to town. He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. In the Alpine and Central European region, Krampus takes over the role of punishing the bad and misbehaving children. His tradition is so strong that even Christmas cards are sent with his image. How can we explain this? Well, festive figures are a cultural mirror of our societies. The creation of Krampus speaks volumes about the Germanic cultural emphasis on discipline and obedience. His terrifying presence serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of disobedience and misbehavior, ensuring children stay on the right track. While seemingly harsh, Krampus ultimately embodies a valuable lesson. Actions have consequences, and self-reflection is crucial for growth. But Krampus is just one piece of the European Christmas puzzle. In Italy, we find Befana, a kind old witch who soars through the night on her broomstick, filling children's stockings with sweets and coal. In parts of France, Père Foutard, a suit-covered companion to Saint Nicholas, gives treats and warnings to children based on their deeds. Each character, with their unique appearance and traditions, reflects the specific values and beliefs of their region. In a world increasingly interconnected, understanding and appreciating cultural diversity is more important than ever. 
these Christmas characters with their fascinating histories and symbolic meanings offer a window into the unique mindsets and values of different regions. They remind us that Christmas is not just about presents and festivities, but also about embracing the richness of human experience across the globe. So the next time you hear those sleigh bells, remember, Santa might not be the only visitor coming down your chimney. Keep an ear out for the clang of chains and the guttural growls. Krampus may be watching and maybe, just maybe, that's not such a bad thing. After all, a little self-check and self-reflection can be a powerful motivator to be good.